This video is brought to you by GoFiber Hair Building Fibers. Pick up your free sample and get instant hair confidence. Start your transformation today. Hey, what is up guys? Matt here and in this video I'm going to be talking about using supple metal or so-called Serenoa repens in hair loss prevention as it has been shown to successfully inhibit the type 1 and type 2 5 alpha reductase isoenzymes and thus reduce the DHT levels in your body which could lead to less and less hair loss. But is that really so? Uh, let's take a look at the current research that we have. We're gonna be talking about its efficacy, taking a look at the side effect profile of supple metal and uh, the optimal dosage of supple metal in uh, successful hair loss uh, management. Let's start. Alrighty guys, before I start, let me just briefly uh, sum up what we already know about supple metal and uh, managing hair loss. Number one, supple metal has been shown to inhibit the type 1 and type 2 5 alpha reductase isoenzymes, which could make it a potent agent for treating androgenic alopecia. Free fatty acids with sterols are the most important active ingredients of supple metal. Here's why. Linoleic and oleic acids have been both shown to inhibit the type 1 5 alpha reductase enzyme. Lauric acids have been shown to inhibit the type 1 and type 2 5 alpha reductase isoenzymes. And myristic acid have been shown to inhibit the type 2 5 alpha reductase enzyme. There is almost no existence of properly conducted randomized controlled trials on supple metal in conjunction with treating androgenic alopecia. Because of the lack of reliable data, Sopal metal hasn't been FDA approved for treating hair loss, nor there is a standardized dose of sopal metal declared by the FDA, which would be marked as safe and efficacious for treating hair loss. Number three, sopal metal supplements are being branded and marketed and sold as natural side effect free herbal extracts, which may not be necessarily true since sopal metal has been already shown to have anti-androgenic effects in your body, like suppressing DHT about 32%, so it clearly can come with sexually related side effects as well, especially if there is no standardized clinically approved dose for the use of supple metal containing supplements. And number four, potency of different sopalmetto extracts can vastly differ between each other based on whether they are coming in a liquid form, powder, as a dried berry or infused as a tincture. For this reason, I decided to do a second video on sopalmetto where I'm going to be talking about how to choose the right sopalmetto supplement if you want to use it for hair loss prevention with best possible efficacy. When it comes down to efficacy, uh, we don't know much how effective sal palmetto really is for hair loss. The best study which would probably summarize the efficacy of sal palmetto in terms of hair loss prevention would be the two-year study where they compared um, the efficacy of sal palmetto to the efficacy of finasteride uh, in treating hair loss. Now, they measured the overall results uh, with so-called uh, hair growth score and the hair growth score was of course better in the finasteride group since finasteride is able to inhibit 5-alpha reductase more effectively up to 70%. Sal metal has been shown to inhibit it like around 32%. Sal metal only seemed to be effective for the vertex thinning and not for the frontal hairline or frontal area thinning. Unlike finasteride, finasteride was able to target the frontal thinning as well as the vertex thinning and that's why the score was higher by the finasteride group. Unfortunately, we don't have any dose dependent studies or trials like one group would be on 300 milligram another group 5, 6 or even 900 milligram of supple metal just to see uh, if the hair regrowth would be much better comparable to finasteride. Now let's talk about the side effect profile of supple metal. 18 randomized controlled trials, including 3,000 men overall. Uh, when it comes down to the side effects uh, of all of these 18 randomized controlled trials, uh, very low side effect profile or very mild side effect profile and if there were any side effects observed by sopalmetto sal users they were not very frequent. They were also comparing them to finasteride, I mean side effects from finasteride. Uh, by finasteride the side effects were about uh, four times higher as opposed to sopalmetto. Another study includes 225 men, one year study and these men were using 320 milligrams 
of uh, Sao Palmetto per day. Compared to the placebo group, there were just a few significant differences in sexual functioning between placebo and uh, the treatment group. So nothing really, uh, something that you'd be concerned about. Always, guys, it's important to look into studies which are like uh, randomized control trials because these studies uh, have uh, the placebo group and treatment group and you can kind of observe them and sometimes you really find out and it, it's been like that in many finasteride studies by the way where the, the the controlled group has like higher side effect occurrence as opposed to the treatment group okay the last study i'd like to present to you was especially focused on safety and toxicity profile of sal palmetto it was a randomized controlled trial of 369 men it was a dose dependent trial that means that various sample groups were taking 320 640 as much as 960 milligrams of sal palmetto for a total of 18 months sal palmetto extract used in this study showed no evidence of toxicity at doses up to three times the usual clinical dose during an 18-month period. So that's quite interesting as well. Now, what I would do if I would be interested in using Salpalmetto for treating hair loss, I would probably start with 160 milligram uh, and 160 milligram, which would make 320 milligram per day. I would split it in two dosages though. If you are interested in take, taking Salpalmetto for hair loss, you should watch my second video uh, next uh, time. I'm gonna link it here. This video is gonna be about how to choose the right Sal Palmetto supplement. Uh, there are gonna be powders, there are gonna be tablets, there are gonna be liquids, there are gonna be like infused Sal Palmetto, like herbs with these uh, Sal Palmetto active ingredients. This is gonna have an, a big impact on how strong or how potent the Sal Palmetto is gonna be. The consistency of what should be the I ideal decomposition of the active ingredients of Sal Palmetto because sal palmetto is only sal palmetto and it has some active ingredients which are uh, kind of uh, creating the sal palmetto in the first place. These active ingredients are again free fatty acids, cytosterols or sterols and isoflavonoids. So these are the three things that are actually cr responsible for the potency of, of, of for the ability of, five, uh, of sal palmetto to inhibit the 5-alpha reductase in the first place. So these are going to be the things I'm going to be discussing in the next video so you should not miss it and make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell right here somewhere I think it's here so you're gonna get notified once I'm gonna upload this video if you want to uh, talk with me about hair transplants uh, also hair loss related stuff you are not sure uh, which doctor to choose for your hair transplant you are somewhere in your hair transplant research you need some guidance you need some advice make sure uh, you apply for a consultation with me on www www.matdominance.com slash mentoring okay of course i'm gonna let you know once i'm gonna uh, get your application i'm gonna ask you for your uh, photos and then we are gonna schedule uh, a one-on-one -on -one call okay that was it for me guys take care and see you in the next video